How's it going everybody? Ben from Base at Mew here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm doing another random product opening. I haven't done one of these in a while so I figured it would be a good time to do one now. I guess for this one we're gonna go from smallest to biggest. So let me just clear all of this off the table and we'll start with the mini tin. Alright and here we are. The first one with this mini tin. This is actually a German mini tin. Same with the, with the Charizard tin that you're gonna see. Many I bought, well, the Charizard tin that was on sale, I think I paid 20 euros for that one, whereas the English one would have been 35, so I just figured I'd grab the German one. Doesn't really make much difference to me. It's Paldean Fates, though. I'm not expecting many pulls from Paldean Fates, if any. Oh, there was a little bit of plastic left at the end there. Here we are. Oh, this is also Paldean Fates. Okay, I've totally... Looks like we have a lot of Paldean Fates in this opening. Maybe this one will be the one where we finally get a special illustration. You would have seen these already. This one is in German, the little text on the on the end there. So here we are, two packs. Not holding my breath for this one. I think the best card I've pulled so far out of Paldean Fates was that um, that hyper rare. What was it, Chan Pao? Which is actually technically a hyper rare is rarer than a special illustration rare. So I technically had more luck, but then not the not the right amount of luck if that makes sense. Would have preferred a special illustration rare, as I'm sure many other would've would have. Here we have a baby shiny. There we go. Our first pull. At least it's a baby shiny, not like just a normal holographic. Alright, let's open up this pack right here. From Paldean Fates and see if we can't pull anything. I don't think we can, but maybe I should stop being pessimistic and just say it's just I've opened so much of Paldean Fates and I've really never pulled anything good and I really just want to pull a special illustration rare so I kind of can move on. Although it would have been way cheaper to just buy a special illustration rare right off the bat, right? All right, so here we are. This is our first and only pull from the mini tin. So let's put you over here. And then we're gonna go to the to the blisters next. All right, so here we are. We get, of course, this promo. I won't show the code card because I've actually started to play TCG Live, and I need a, a bunch of cards and packs. So if I do remember to not show the code card, that's that's the reason why. I kind of want them for myself now. I need some cards. I've been playing so far one of the free decks, the Giratina deck, which is actually pretty fun, but I really want to play a Gardevoir deck. And I'm also, well, as I said, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Yo! A Rainbow Rare Candice! Not too bad. Nice! Okay, here's the energy. And then, of course, the Ninetales and the code card is mine from now on. At least for this opening. We'll see if, what, what we do with the next opening, but there we go. Rainbow Rare Candice. Not too shabby right off the bat. I do have her in Japanese and it's graded as a normal CGC 10, not pristine 10. Normal CGC 10. I just have to look up at my wall and that's where they all are. Or most of them. We have a Pikachu, Growlithe, Clink, Whalmer, Dratini, Spinarak, and a Verizian. Okay. So there we go. And the Jinx at the end there. One last Silver Tempest pack. I won't make it a battle for this one specifically, but I think for now Silver Tempest is in the lead. I don't know how much the Candice is in a Rainbow one, but I'm pretty sure it's more than a Clavian. Altaria, well that definitely puts, puts Silver Tempest ahead. There we go, we even got a Holographic Rapidash, which technically counts as a pull in, in Sword and Shield. All right, our two pulls from Silver Tempest. So let's move on to the next blister that I have and I'm just gonna open this. Here is the Tinka Tink promo that we got from this one and three Paldea Evolved packs. A set that I actually do quite like. Yes, the newer sets like Twilight Masquerade and Paradox Rift do actually have a lot of cool cards. But the pull rates for Paldean Fates in set previous to Paldean Fates are so much better. And I still need the Iono from Paldean Fates. So maybe we get lucky and pull something. Not in this one. Here's just the energy. And then of course the code card is behind there. I do need that for, for my personal collection, I guess, for TCG Life. Since I recently started playing the game, actually. It's really, really fun. As I said, I do really want to play a Gardevoir deck. 
Not because it's the strongest, I don't even know what the strongest deck is, but I'm pretty sure God of War is really, really strong. But I just like God of War. I mean, in a perfect world, I would have played a Mew VMAX deck, I think. But that has, like, rotated out, so no more Mew. I guess there is the Mew from 151, but I don't think it's that good. Once again, I don't really play the game, I've just recently picked it up, I don't know. I've seen some cards, especially from the newer set, there's like a trainer card. That is incredibly good from the upcoming Japanese set. And can't wait to make, for that to make it to English, I think that's gonna be really, really strong. So far, from what I've seen, from very little that I've seen. And there we go, can we get anything from Paldean Fates? Or from Paldea Evolved? Nope. That was a 3-pack blister with zero pulls. Wow, that's rough. Okay, next up is the Alakazam EX Collection, Pokemon 151. Wasn't sure if I'm gonna open this first, and or the tins first, but I decided to open this one before the tins. Let's see if I can't get in right here. The glue isn't too strong. Okay, and here we are. We got, of course, four booster packs and then the promos with the beautiful, beautiful Cosmo Holo Foil. We have the Abra, we have the Kadabra, and we have the Alakazam. The Alakazam, this is the exact same artwork as it is in 151, but it's actually considered a promo right down here, which is cool. These ones are considered like normal from, from 151, but they are with a holo foil that you wouldn't pull out of the set. So these are actually really, really cool. Four booster packs with 151. I have actually pulled quite a few special illustrations where surprisingly from 151. I've pulled the Alakazam three times though so far and then the charizard and then that's it four special illustration wares um four of or three of which were alakazam and to top it off twice in german and then once in english and we'll see what we can find in here notoriously though the poll rates for 151 are really really bad not as bad as paldean fates though from what i've seen so Dome Fossil, Weedle, Zubat, we got a Goldeen, got a Nidorino, Golduck, got a Pinsir, Fero, Gengar, and a Holographic Dodrio. There we go. Here is the energy. Let's see. Hopefully we can pull at least something from 151. Although I wouldn't mind if we pull nothing from 151 if that means we pull something from Paldean Fates. I would like to take that trait if at all possible. Got an Eevee, Parasect. Well, there we go. I just pulled out three cards at once. Squirtle, Builds Transfer, and another Holographic. So far, 151 is living up to its name. Well, not to its name. One, so far, 151 is living up to the horrible pull rates. Three packs already open and not a single card in. Actually, what I should do before I open these, just put the code card aside and that way I won't accidentally show them. Bulbasaur, Slowpoke, got a Growlithe, Hypno, we've got a Polyrath, got a Pidgeot, got a Diglett, we've got a Mr. Mime. Very nice. And we got a Mewtwo. Okay. Well, we got at least one pull. It's just a Mr. Mime, but it's better than walking away empty-handed. But that seems to be, like, that seems to be on par for 151. Just one pull and that's it. All right, so next up is this German Charizard EX tin from Paldean Fates. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Since I, I actually ordered one from GameStop, I got like a, um, whatchamacallit, a coupon of GameStop, which actually turned turned the, the cards or the products that I wanted to buy Pretty cheap and pretty reasonable. Wanted to buy this one in English, but unfortunately it was out of stock, so they just... They didn't cancel my order, they just shipped the products that were in stock and refunded me for this one. So the code card is actually for me this time around. And you get this this really, really cool Charizard promo. Say what you will about terrestrialized Pokémon, but just giving you the promo like this is really, really cool in my opinion. And here we have the four booster packs, and then that's it for our tin. It's already empty. So let me put that right there. Four Paldean Fates, and then we also have the ETB. <sighs> One special illustration where is all it takes from, from Paldean Fates. One illustration where, let me just see the code. Okay, so the code card, so we actually have to open them like this. 
As I said, I do want to keep the codes to myself for this one. Mac Mortar and nope, just an armor rogue for this one. That's only the first pack though. That's only the first pack. Chill out. We still have plenty of chances left. So open them like that awkwardly. Like like this basically. Is kind of kind of really, really odd. Let me pull out the code cord for me. There we go. And then move on. Move on and see if we can't pull anything. We got a Chameleon, Chin Chao, Curlia, and a Zatu. Well, that is on par for Paldean Fates as well. Am I opening Paldean Fates or Pokemon 151? Because so far, the pull rates have been horrible for both. Right, can't forget. With these German packs, it's kind of odd why they do it. Like, why would they make the code cards in a different direction just for the German releases? It's so strange. Why not keep it the same orientation? Either way, though, either way, let's see if we can't pull something. I've said that so many times now. Right here. Nope, just a holographic. That's on par. That is on par for Paldean Fates. Really? Three packs and not a single pull so far. Well, maybe this... It's, it's not the last Paldean Fates pack by any means. We still have the ETB, although I'm not holding my, my breath for that one. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Toad School. Get a Nest Ball. Don Fan. Got, um, what's his name? Clive. We've got, okay, we've got a baby shiny. Well, there's a single pull. A single pull in that one. With the little Neubat. I'm pretty sure this is, I don't know why the name is like that in German. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I have no idea why the name is like that in German. Let's escape the horrible pull rates for a second and open an actual set that is really, really nice and should potentially contain a lot of pulls, hopefully, or not a lot of pulls, but better pull rates than usual. It's Crown Zenith and specifically this Articuno tin. Believe it or not, out of all the Crown Zenith products that I've opened, I've never opened one of these tins before. So this will be a first for me. Once again, the code card is for me on this one. We do get this cool looking promo of Articuno and then four Crown Zenith packs. And then that's it for our tin. Here is the promo. I'll just put the promo over here. Four packs of Crown Zenith. It's been a while since I've last opened Crown Zenith. I think the last Crown Zenith I opened was a three pack blister where I actually ended up pulling the golden Dialga, I think. I think it was a Dialga in a shorts video. I'll link it somewhere down below or put like something up here. Oh, well, you see this? Do you see that shine? First booster pack of Crown Zenith and we already have something. Yo, we have the Raihan, nice! First pack of Crown Zenith and we already have something. Well, ah, that's Crown Zenith, man. I'm gonna miss when Crown Zenith isn't in print anymore. Maybe I should stock up on, on products. Maybe just stock up on a case of ETBs. And then whenever I feel down from horrible pull rates of these newer sets, I just open like an ETB of, of Crown Zenith. And then all will be good. Man, oh man. Okay. Raihan right off the bat. Nice. That's a really cool full art as well. I do already, already have the Raihan, but that's a really cool full art trainer. I really like it. Gudra. Second pull right here. And then just the Kyogre holographic. Here's the energy. Gravela, Gloom, and friends in Sinnoh. Two packs, two pulls from Crown Zenith. Maybe the newer sets, especially <clears throat> Paldean Fates, should maybe look at this pack and see, yeah, well, I should give you pull rates like that, right? But no. No, they give me horrible pull rates instead. All right, Galarian, Mr. Mime. We've got the Shinx, Cricketot. We've got, well, I just skipped a few cards right there. Switch. And then a Lycanroc non-holographic. It's kind of odd seeing the um, the non-holographics here. That is really, really odd nowadays. Because with the newer sets like Scarlet and Violet, you do get a promised holographic in every single pack. So it's kind of throwing me off just seeing a non-holographic rare there. One last Crown Venice pack. 
Let's see if we can't make it a banger, even though we already pulled the right hand, which is really, really cool. Meowth. Got a Baltoy. Tangela. Larvista. It's got a Snow Runt. Kelly Rex. And an holographic Snorlax. Okay. Well, that was still a really cool opening. So far, maybe even our most successful in this video. Because the Raihan is really, really cool. Although, I don't know if it's worth more than the Rainbow Rare um, Candice, but we'll see, I guess. Okay, one product left out of this all opening. We've made it to the Paldean Fates Elite Trainer Box. Is it gonna give us anything good, or are we just gonna get nothing once again? Well, only one way to find out. We're gonna cut this open. Alright, here's the Mimikyu promo, which is actually a really cool promo. I really like this one. Really cool looking. I think this is actually pretty expensive in Japanese still. And here are our, our booster packs. Are we gonna get any anything out of them? I don't know. Not holding my breath, man. I have like a love-hate relationship with these. And kind of like with Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike is so horrible and I've only pulled the Sendaconda alternate art. At least I've pulled an alternate art. But it's like the only good thing I ever pulled out of Fusion Strike. Let's see, Moonlit Hill, Chin Chao, Nimona, and a Squawkabilly EX. Oh, all right, let's open up this one right here. Man, I would really love to pull a special illustration. Of course, I mean, you usually would. Hang on, let me take the code card away. Because that is mine for this opening in particular. Paldean Student, Fido. Got a Haunter, Gengar. I just want to pull a special illustration where so I can be done with the set if that makes sense even though it doesn't really make sense for me to like be so insistent on pulling a special illustration rare i think the only reason why i'm doing it and when i'm so is insistent on it is i've pulled a special illustration rare now recently with the shorts that i released for twilight masquerade a special illustration rare from every single scarlet and violet set but not paldean fates paldean fates is the only set where i haven't pulled a special illustration rare from so I guess that's like kind of the reason why I'm so insistent on pulling one, even though the amount of money, of course, uh, if you open the cards and try to pull them, the amount of money I've already spent on Paldean Fates, I could have bought like two or three special illustration rares out of the set. Just a holographic for this one, though. But that's not, you know, pulling... I mean, I understand the, the people who say, no, I do want to pull the card, but... Usually that's not me. I just want to pull any special illustration. It doesn't matter which one. Of course, the Charizard, the God of War, the Mew, those ones would be really cool. But it doesn't matter which one, honestly. I just want to say I've pulled one and then that's it. But we'll see if we if we get lucky. I do also have planned, maybe if we don't pull one right here, which right now it's looking like it, I have planned on maybe opening a whole case of Elite Trainer boxes at some point. I just don't know when or if I'm going to do do that video. I don't know. But that would be something. And I think, well, a case, and I see, there we go again, a case of, of elite trainer boxes. I can get one for around 300 euros. But then if you look at it, 300 euros, I could buy so many special illustration rares from that one. Paldean student, usually I would get excited about a full art trainer. But the full art trainers, especially this one, this one, and the Nimona, are so cheap. They're essentially bulk, which is kind of ridiculous to me, honestly. They are considered bulk because they are so common in this one. Hang on, let me take the code card away. It's just so ridiculous with this one. So ridiculous. I still wonder, like, surprisingly, the special illustration rares aren't as expensive, given the horrible pull rates. Halucha, that's a nice one. Got a Halucha, and here is the energy. I mean, we've gotten a lot of pulls. I can't complain about that. We've definitely gotten a lot of pulls from this from this ETB so far. So, in terms of pull rates, it's actually pretty good. Like, no, no denying that. It's actually pretty good. Got a Scraggy. Got a Gimme Ghoul. Or maybe for the opening, maybe I won't open a... Um, a case of ETBs, just make an opening of either like 100 booster packs. 
I really wanted to make a video where it's basically just opening Paldean Fates until I pull a special illustration rare and then the video just ends. The problem is how many packs am I gonna need for that, right? And it would also be kind of an expensive video. And then what if, what if I open that many products and I still don't get a special illustration rare? That's like kind of where I'm at right now. That's kind of where I'm at. Magmar, Yono, Kilowattro. Maybe I'll just open Paldean Fates here and there. Palafin opened that one a ton of times. Maybe I just open Paldean Fates just here and there, you know, a mini tin there, or like a booster bundle there, and then at some point I might get lucky. At some point I might get lucky. Well, we have our last pack right here. Our last pack of Paldean Fates. Let's see if we if we can't finally break the curse. The curse of no special illustration rare from Paldean Fates. Let's see, Mouse Hold, Lantern, we've got a Houndstone, that's a cool, cool baby shiny. And the curse continues. But as I said, I really can't complain about the pull rates of this ETB. I mean, look at the amount of pulls we've gotten. I'm pretty sure it was the same with my first Elite Trainer box though, from Paldean Fates. I think I actually hit a ton of hits, but didn't necessarily hit, you know, a, a really special one, a special illustration, if that makes sense. Well, but I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. What your subscribe button, click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.